Every now and then a Rocket League player comes along that just has something special about them. I'm thinking of players like Cookseer and Kdop, Devo, Scrubkilla, and obviously Squishy Muffins. These players are very rare, but they're still popping up even today in the Rocket League scene. These are players who have the potential to take the game to new heights because they don't just play the game the way everyone else does, they're unorthodox. They try weird stuff and they're not afraid to take really big risks to pull off the incredible. And really that last part, the ability to take risks and the desire to do incredible things is the sign of an exceptional player. In this video, I'm looking at a player known as First Killer. Some of you will have probably heard of him as he's been relatively dominant on Johnny Boy's stream over the past six months in show matches. That was actually where I first saw him play way back in September of 2017 when he made his first debut on Johnny Boy's stream. See the second coming of Scrub Killer? Who knows? We've got another 12 year old Rocket League player in the top 10. I think so. Because he's got no boost to speak of, but that is GG's. First killer in his stream debut takes down Ty. Very impressive. Ty says this boy has the best defense. Well, second coming of Scrub Killer confirmed. Is it or is it not? Ty says the best. Uh, that this boy has the best defense I've ever seen. It's crazy. Well played. It's huge compliments coming out from Ty. Uh, big respect for him being able to uh, just admit, hey, I got a plane. At that time, First Killer was only 12 years old, and the idea that he was the next Scrub Killer, that was sort of what everybody was saying, or at least sort of the North American version of Scrub Killer, as a 12-year-old who was dominant in ones. Since then, First Killer has had some ridiculous show matches, including what is arguably the craziest 1v1 show match in Rocket League history versus Firewall. During that first year, he won quite a bit, but he also lost a fair amount to some really great players, including Scrub Killer himself, who did what he normally does and, you know, kind of gave him a total beating in the last few games. Which wasn't really a surprise, Scrub's been playing Rocket League for like 9 years. That's not an exaggeration, like with his time spent in the first game, the prequel to Rocket League, as a high level 1s player, he's been playing this game for so long. And First Killer, when he matched up against Scrub, was actually 12 at the time. Just not having even close to the same level of experience, it made sense that he lost. But he did actually win game 1. He lost in overtime in game two, lost by one in game three, and then game four was, you know, a bit of a clinic. And then also scrub one game five pretty handedly. Now that was quite a while ago, and I'd love to see them play again as First Killer has really matured as a player. But as of late, First Killer has been absolutely dominant. He's been on an incredible tear in the 1v1 scene. He's won 11 show matches in a row on Johnny Boy's stream, tons of 1v1 tournaments. And the thing that really tipped me over the edge to think that this kid really has something special, besides just watching him play, which really says it all, is the fact that First Killer is now playing on Upper 90's competitive standard squad alongside Democat and Dapper. They actually beat Cloud9 in the first round of the closed qualifier for Dreamhack Dallas recently. But you know, I'm a bit suspicious of this since Cloud9 was already invited and really had no reason to win, and you know, letting the other team win just kind of makes sense at that point. There's no reason to go knock a bunch of teams out if you're already qualified. Whereas teams like NRG need to qualify through the closed bracket, and of course they did. So this team definitely has a good shot at doing well at DreamHack. Still, I'm excited to see his career progress as he plays in more team-based competitions and not just ones, but this really wasn't what got me thinking that this player could be the next crazy good Rocket League player. By my calculations, with him being 12 in that debut back in September of 2017, First Killer is no older than 14 at this point, maybe even 13, making him old enough to play at a tournament like DreamHack but not RLCS yet. To be playing for an RLRS level team, a team that could potentially have done better with him if he were old enough at this age is just really crazy. Just go watch him play if you have a chance. His mechanics and his game sense are really unbelievable. But even more, it's the creativity that gets me. This kid isn't just playing the way that, you know, he probably sees other pros play. I get the sense that he spends a ridiculous amount of time working on his own game, trying new things, and when he's actually in a match, he just plays with a level of freedom that actually gets him in trouble sometimes. It reminds me so much of Devo. There's almost this sort of controlled reckless which I know that doesn't make sense, it's 
kind of like an oxymoron, but that's what it feels like. He has no fear of screwing up literally any shot. Flip reset, ceiling shot, backboard touches. And this makes me scared to see like what he could actually do with a few other teammates rotating behind him when he has control of the ball. Hopefully we'll get to see come May 31st in Dallas when he plays alongside Dapper and Democat. I mean, this was where Squishy Muffins and his team had their competitive breakthrough. It was at DreamHack as well. But yeah, make sure to check out this kid. I've got his links in the description below. And I'm gonna end this video by showing you some of First Killer's more ridiculous clips. So go follow him on Twitter. Keep an eye out for this guy because I really think he's gonna make a huge impact on the scene in the coming years. Now we're playing it very slowly. First killer, just letting them come at him. Just quickly turns around, trying to switch around the play. Oh Dapper my goodness! Below him and what a touch from first killer! Wait a minute, did he? Did I, first killer? He I, got his oh flip back God. off of Dapper oh to put my. that one into the net. You've got to be kidding me! I don't think I've ever seen someone get a flip off of their opponent to put it away. Just managed to get in front and stay in front for uh, this game. Massive mind game by First Killer. Wonder Mike is nowhere near. He is gonna give uh, First Killer the nice shot in chat, to which First Killer replies, whoops, <laughs> not sure if that's the... Can he run down the final seconds without being caught out for a demolish or getting caught out of position? The ball's almost in the air. It is in the air! <laughs> it's a zero second goal for First Killer. Wonder Mike was trying to pitch it clear, his car's just gone clean through the ball. I'm not sure what happened here. But first killer barely gets it in in time. One more goal would do it. Sharif tries to air dribble, fails. Now first killer, quick on the counter. Hold on a second, I make that a zero second wall shot goal. First killer catches it clean. What a half volley off the wall, it bounces in on zero. And we are going to go to game five. Team video, that's actually a pretty quick pro progression. Good job, man. It's working, yeah, the spam is actually working. But hey, first killer was the flip reset revenge again. I guess whenever Rapid gets a flip reset goal, first killer is going to respond with one of his own. Look at that. He gets a, another touch on it as well. Nobody's mentioned Rapid's name as the player who would end first killer's streak, and I don't say that to throw any shade at him at all. Just want to. Give him credit for how much he's showing up today. Surprising a lot of people, no doubt. But he's only a third of the way there. First killer taking the lead in game three. Much better than he did in game one. Even, even that has not prevented first killer from creating chances. Look at this. Another rebound by first. He had an open net, but going backboard doesn't seem to be any more difficult for him than putting this into the net directly and you know if he did put it into the net directly the initial hit would have been softer so there's more of a chance fairly strong for first killer but one that rapid is going to have time to grab 100 boost on and there's no flip reset yet for first killer rapid gets in the way but not enough first killer takes it dunks in the air dribble and just like that he has game one in the bag rapid i think could have done better there aim it Actually finished off somewhere close to the center of the net. This rapid is able to change the angle so much. First killer, double touch attempt. He has a boost advantage and he makes it count. 5-5. Five, five. The pop-off continues. Huge play by first killer. He knows that he's got the boost lead here. Just gets it high over the net. But rapid can't reach it. I would just start throwing my car at the ball, you know. That's true, that's true. Is he going oh, for the flippers? Oh, he did it! So just because he can. Because it can. You know, I'm up for final game. I'm just gonna get my own little flip reset goal. Why not? It's masterful by Flakes to waste the clock down and force First Killer into this difficult to play position. Still winnable though for First. He's got the ball up on zero. That's not a bad flick and one which Flakes can't keep out. It's tied up. And it looked over. But First Killer fights back from 4-1 down and he rockets a flick in on zero seconds. Flake's got a touch on it, but he didn't keep it out of the net. So it was certainly scary. But will Flake's be able to handle that better than OSM and Ixo did? Wow, that's a great shot by First Killer to start things off. Flake's was not ready for a little half volley from that angle. Expect right now by First Killer. So many counter goals we've already witnessed. 
The mistakes are stacking up. You can see another shot oh. going. What an angle from first killer. Fantastic stuff. And that's a tough one for Lion Blaze. Look at the finesse coming out from first killer with this shot. He goes under just to lift it up and then he puts it back post. Are you kidding me with that shot? You can see Lion Blaze just sitting there after that goal goes in and goes, my goodness, what a shot. Keep that ball away from Taroko. Taroko looking for the bump onto first killer. First killer forced to play it back into his own half of the field as time is ticking down. Cuts it inwards, finds the angle. Taroko cuts it off, gets the save. Here's the final chance for first killer, and he's going to try to go for the double tap. Taroko oh, doesn't get the one clear. Oh and there we go. The equalizer, three seconds from the end. First killer does it again. And Taroko had the right idea. When he bounced off the wall, he realized he needed to get straight down. He was within inches of saving that one. And we're tied up at four.